We've too quickly forgotten 20th century history. 20th century federal, state, and local policies explicitly designed to separate the races and whose effects endure today. It denied mortgage insurance to African Americans and denied advanced financing to developers who proposed to build integrated developments. State highways were routed by federal and local officials to raise those neighborhoods for the explicit purpose of relocating black populations to more distant ghettos. In northern cities and suburbs, police and prosecutors conspired with vigilantes and leaders of white mobs to force out black families who succeeded in purchasing or renting in white neighborhoods. When you concentrate students with these disadvantages in racially and economically homogenous schools, achievement is depressed even further. That whites were able to follow the jobs to the suburbs and blacks were not because of public policies that violated the Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments. Reacquainting ourselves with that history is the first necessary step to confronting it. Indeed, narrowing the achievement gap will also require uh, housing desegregation, which history shows is not a voluntary matter, but a constitutional necessity. Voiding exclusionary zoning laws, placing low and moderate income housing in predominantly white suburbs, and ending federal subsidies for communities that failed to reverse policies that led to racial exclusion.